been active for 75 years, um, even through World War II, which was a time when a lot of um, collegiate groups like this one sort of died down. The Smith and Moves was uh, founded, and um, we were founded in 1936, when a group of Smith women went to Yale, which was you know one of our brother schools at the time, um, and saw the Whiff and Poofs per per perform um, at a picnic. And they're the oldest male group, uh, collegiate a cappella group in the country. And the Smith women were like, well, we need to also do that. <laughs> so they did. For the 75th, I think the goal is to include alums who are coming back and try to do songs that maybe they might have sung. Because we have songs that we've been singing for 15 years, um, songs that we've been singing at least for the past five years. And then there are things like Manhattan and Softly, which we've been singing forever, which I would imagine every Poof alum who is coming will, will know those songs and remember their parts. And I have a cozy little flat in what is known as Old Manhattan. We'll settle down right here in town. Manhattan, Bronx, Saturn. What's great about the longevity of the group is that uh, a lot of our alums, because it's like it's such a tight knit tiny community within Smith. Um, our alums tend to be very active and very like excited about still being a Poof even after they've graduated. We're a very interesting group of people. <laughs> I think the Poofs, as far as I can tell, the Poofs have always been an eclectic mix of people because some people are drawn to the tradition of being a Poof, some people are drawn to the songs that we sing, some people like me have no idea what they're doing until you know, wham, they're in the group. It's really important that we decide now because I need to tell the loves so we can do it. So this will be a male and a female soloist together. We have a lot of mainstream music. We, we think it's important that the audience can interact with us while we're on stage. There's nothing worse than sitting through an a cappella concert and not knowing a single song. So we try to do, we have pop songs that we do. We, you know, if we sense that a song is getting really popular on the radio, we'll try to see if someone can arrange it really quickly so the next time we perform, you know, it's like the hit song that we're singing to try and keep it a little fresh and relevant. The 75th anniversary is coming up on November 5th, um, and we didn't want it to just be a big concert. Like, yes, it's going to be a big concert, and that's going to be great, but it's also the first time that we've invited, that a, a class of Poofs has invited Smith and Poofs from all past years back to school to meet each other again. And I get emails all the time, like my email, if I'm away from my computer for an hour, I open it up and it's just like, Trillions of emails from poofs all over the world um, talking to me. I just got an email from somebody in Japan um, who wishes that she could come. <laughs> um, and then another one from a woman in California who's coming and meeting um, members of her class from Texas and Wisconsin um, and other people from California who are coming back from the um, late 70s and early 80s to reunite here again. And she said it's the first time that they'll all be back together. So like the fact that we get to do that for them and like make that happen is amazing. You're a rich girl, and I want to do it, you know it don't matter anyway. You can rely 